Hey guys, I need to uh, talk to you guys for a minute. Oh my goodness, like I'm so nervous. Um, oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Um, there's a something I need to confess to my husband. I mean, it happened in the past, and when it happened, we weren't together. But I still need to tell him about it because we tell each other everything. And it's just something that I need to... Like, I'm kind of scared to tell him because I don't know what his reaction is going to be. And I really don't want to hurt him because I do love him. But I need to tell him. It's just some things I need to Mama. confess to him. Mama. And... I want to do it with you guys because I feel like if y'all are there Mama, with me Mama, watching. Mama, 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 Mama Dory. Yes, Dory. Yes, a homo. Mm-hmm, Nemo. Mama Dory. Dory, yep. Dory. Here, go put this in your kit. Kit? Yeah, go put it up in your kit. But yeah, I feel kit. like if y'all are there watching, he won't go crazy on me. Oh my god, y'all, I'm like so nervous. I just, I just really don't want to hurt him. I don't want him to freak out or whatever, but I do need to tell him because it's something that's been, you know, weighing heavy on me. Oh god, I'm just, oh, my hands are shaking, you guys. Oh god. What's that? Yellow? Yes, yellow crayon. <clears throat> Okay, you guys, I'm getting ready to, to tell him. Wish me the best of luck. So nervous, you guys. Oh, yes. um, I don't know what his reaction is going to be, but I'm going to tell him. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's something I need to talk to you about. What's that? You remember when we was in high school and we used to go to the arcade? Mm hmm. Okay. You remember how I told you that that, uh, that what was it, a zombie game, a mummy game where we had to shoot them? Remember, uh, you had to sit down and then you close the curtain and you shoot them? Yeah, that's a dude. Yeah. And remember how I told you that was my favorite game mm -hmm. to play or whatever? Okay. To be honest with you, that was not my favorite game. Um, okay. <laughs> like... See, the thing is, I wanted to go in that game with you because it was kind of like a private room. Mm -hmm. And, uh, <laughs> okay, I'm so nervous, yeah. Because I don't know what your reaction is going to be. About you trying to get nasty. <laughs> okay. I was not trying to get nasty, but, but I did want you to kiss me because... I knew you were shy and you wasn't going to kiss me in front of everybody. So I knew that if I played that game with you and we was in, in the little private room and couldn't nobody see us, that you would, you know, at least give me a kiss. Uh-huh. I mean, even though you did give me a kiss, but that's why I told you it was my favorite. So that we can go over there and, you know, be in that little room and maybe I can give me a little kiss, but you still didn't give me a kiss. I'll hold this time. <laughs> Crazy. Now you know it's the same way now. If you're not obvious with things, what happened? Well, I'm with me. It don't get done. Yeah, no matter how much, how many hints you throw, yeah, I don't know. It's like our whole life, when I <laughs> throw hints to him, he never catches them, you guys. He never catches them. Too, what are you doing, so girl? Good. So... You know, but that's something that's I need to tell you. Okay. What's that? Okay. Okay, you knew. Okay, back in the day when you broke up with me or whatever. I didn't break up with you. You broke you, up with me. No, you broke up with me. Okay, what 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 was going on? Um. Okay. Even though you broke up with me, I still loved you, and. Oh, God, for the crowd, I don't want to cry. 
Come here, give him. Yeah, but I don't know if you're going to get mad when I tell you this. Mommy, Daddy, I think cry. Yeah. But, uh, I think cry. After you had broke up with me, like, even though it, it did hurt that you broke up with me, I still loved you. I was still in love with you, whatever. Mm -hmm. So, a couple of years later, you know, it was uh, after we had graduated and everything. Yeah. Um, I was out and about. I was downtown. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was this guy. He was at the uh, train station. You know where we used to go? The train station? Mm -hmm. He was at the train station and he had braids. He had big lips. I mean, he looked exactly <laughs> like you. Like... Like, he looked exactly like you, whatever. So, when he came to talk to me, I thought he was you. And, uh, he told me his name was Red, and I thought maybe uh, that there was a nickname that you was going by. Because, like I said, years had passed by, mm -hmm. and I know Red is your favorite color, so, I'm, you know, that, that made me think it was you even more. Because yeah. not only did he, like, y'all look exactly like... And he said his name was Red, Daddy. and he was wearing red. You remember Daddy. how you used to wear Daddy. that uh, red dragon shirt? Mm -hmm. He had on that shirt. Daddy, Daddy. And uh, Daddy. I thought it was you, mm -hmm. and I was like so happy to have found you, and I was glad that you was talking to me, mm -hmm. and you know I just really, really happy. So uh, I I asked him, I was like, "What you been up to?" You know, I was having a conversation with him as though if he was you, and. I was like, well, give me your number so we can keep in touch because in my heart, in my mind, I was like, we're going to start back talking and we're going to go back together. That's what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. So I was like, give me give me your phone number so I can uh, reach you and everything. So he was like, uh, give me your number. I was like, no, give me your number because I just, you know, I don't like people calling me. <laughs> Didn't like it then, don't like it now. Yeah. So I was like, give me your number. Or give me your email address. And he said, well, I don't have an email address. So. That should have that kind of. But years you. had passed. I thought maybe you didn't have your email address anymore. No, so uh, I didn't think nothing of when he said he didn't have an email address. Did so he gave me the number or whatever. Mm. So. Later on that night. <clears throat> I called the number. Yeah. And uh, it, it was ringing for a long time. Nobody answered. So. I waited and I called it again, and this girl, this female, baby. answered or whatever. Baby, baby. And I was like, "Is Red there?" And she, she was like, "No," and don't call his number again with woo. <laughs> so I was like, "Okay." So I was like, "I don't know how I'm supposed to get in contact with you because, you know, I didn't have an email address. Mm -hmm. I didn't that number. That girl's tripping." Or whatever, so what happened is the next day when I was at the train station, no. I saw you again. I was like, hey, you know, I called you, but some girl said I could call your number. Yeah. And he was like, uh, that's why I told you to give me your number. I was like, well, what's going on? Who is that girl? Whatever. And he was like, uh, that's a, a halfway house. So... Lord, what did you think I was doing? Okay, first of all, I didn't know what a halfway house was. Hey, they me. So when he said halfway house, I'm thinking that you're halfway in the house, like they you, here. Here. like you uh, are on your way into a different house, mm -hmm. and you just at that house for a time being. That's what I thought. Well, that's kind of what a halfway house is. Well, when you said halfway house, that's what I was thinking. Oh, yeah. he finna move into something better. And he halfway out the house. That's what I was thinking. But, but what is an actual halfway house? Mm -hmm. Yeah, halfway house is usually it's for someone that's either been in jail or they've come out of rehab and Daddy. instead of going directly into, you know, society, they have that one stop and they spend some um, I don't want it. But they spend some time there so they, they can get used to being in society again. 
Uh -huh. He like it, girl. Thank he you. ate it. Uh -huh. So yep. I didn't know what a halfway house was. So I didn't think nothing of it. So I was like, okay. Well, I was like, you, you know, from now on, yeah, you can call me. And I gave you my number or gave him my number or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, time went by and I did not hear from him or whatever. And I had asked, you know, what y'all doing? Nothing. What wrong? What he do? Pick it up, Chuck. So, yeah, you guys, I didn't know what a halfway house. I thought that maybe he bought a bigger house, and the house that he was in, he was just halfway out and on his way to something bigger and better. That's what I thought that meant. Or oh, whatever. Uh, so, when that guy told me that he was in a halfway house, I wasn't tripping. I was like, okay, that's cool, whatever. I was like, you need to start calling me. So if I can't call you, but he he didn't call, you know, the next day or the day after. So I, you know, I started asking people around, like, what's a halfway house? Where can I find these halfway houses? Because I had planned on popping up at his house. That was my intentions to find this halfway house. Where is it? You know, that's what I thought, you guys. So... I was asking people, I was like, Daddy, Where, where's the halfway house? And uh, people, they would tell me, uh, they're everywhere, they're different places. Like, nobody knew in particular where uh, one was or where I could find him or how to find him. woo de woo But see, the thing is, you guys, like, I've always loved this man. Like, ever since we met back in high school, I've been in love with him. Even after he dumped me. Didn't you. you did dump me. <laughs> Even after he dumped me, I still was in love with him. I was hurt, but I still loved him. And if he would have asked me to go back with him, I would have said yes. So I ran into the guy again at the train station. Like every time I would see him, it would be at the train station. So I was like, "Hey, what's been up? You you haven't called me. What's going on? You know?" I was like, "Are you okay?" And he was like, "Yeah." He was like, "It's just hard to uh, get to the phone." He said because it's only one phone there mm -hmm. and i was like one phone i was like you don't have a cell phone can i get your cell phone number he was like no i don't have no cell phone i was like why you don't have a cell phone <laughs> you know because everybody has cell phone you know so i was like why you don't have a cell phone he was like i just i just don't have a cell phone and i was like well give me your work schedule so i can know you know when the best time to for us to communicate and he was like i don't work i was like man well, what you do every day? And uh, he was like, he, he looks for a job, but he haven't uh, found one yet. So I wasn't tripping. I was like, okay, that's cool. Mm -hmm. So, like, my family members, I introduced him to my family members. Well, I didn't introduce because I thought they already knew each other. So my little sister, she met uh, Marcus when she was... was like seven, eight. Yeah, she was real young when she met him. So... I thought maybe she would remember him. Hold on. Um, is that why she thought? Yes, I had I'm gonna, ex I'm gonna okay. explain it. I'm gonna explain it. Mm -hmm. So she, okay. uh, she met him when she was younger. So I'm, I'm thinking, okay, she's still gonna, she's still gonna remember him. So it was one day I had my sister with me and we saw you know Red at the train station and everything. And I was like, look, they're gonna mark it. So she was like, hey, Marcus, and you know. I said, oh, he don't go by that name anymore. Uh, they call him Red now. And she was like, oh, okay. So she was like, hi, Red. And she was like, oh, you're so cute. And, you know, she thought it was him too because the guy looked exact. The, you see his face right here? He had the same exact face. He had braids. And see, back in the day, Marcus had braids. Yeah. So, you know, they, when I tell you they were twins, y'all, they were twins. Like, y'all probably are related. You just don't know so, you know, only difference in the two is that that guy had green eyes. And I thought, okay, it was contacts because back in the day, guys used to wear contacts. So I'm thinking, okay, time done passed. He done upgraded himself. He done, you know, got contacts and 
He uh, halfway in the house, halfway out, honey. He, he moving on up in the world. That is what I was thinking, you guys. So, years passed by again, and um, I got back in touch with the actual markets, and my sister was like, oh, I remember you. You used to have them green eyes and everything. And Marcus was like, uh, no, that wasn't me. Yeah, he was like, I didn't have no green eyes. I, yeah. I was like, yes, you did. I was like, you did have green eyes, remember? And, you know, he, he of course, he did remember. And my sister, we were both trying to make him remember. We was like, remember you was at the train station, blah, blah, blah. And we were just, you know, we were trying to make him remember when he had green eyes. Mm -hmm. But he, he, you know, of course, he didn't remember. So that was then. And I had forgot all about it, you guys. Because in my mind, I'm thinking, yeah. You had green eyes, or whatever. I remember was like at the train station. You know, me and my sister, we we laughed about it. We was like, his memory is bad. You know, he, you know, we just we thought it was funny. So here recently, 2017, I'm grown. He's grown. My sister grown. Everybody's grown. And um, I don't know, you guys. Uh. I don't know. I was laying in bed and I was thinking, like, I know this is going to sound crazy, but sometimes I, I think about my husband, about how things were when we were younger and how things are now. And, you know, I've been thinking, how did we get to this moment that we are now, you know, from where we have been? And sometimes I think about this stuff. So that Daddy situation Nemo. popped up in my head. Daddy, Daddy me mouse. And I was like, uh, let, let me, I was like, let me tell him, uh, about his, his green eyes and, you know, cause he always said he ain't never had no green ah. eyes. He I've always, only had green contacts in high school in my 10th grade year when I did not know uh, you. Ah, ah, and ah, ah. I had it one time for about a month and that was it. Well, After in that, my I, mind. You had them green contacts after you had graduated and we met at that train station and you was halfway in the house and halfway for the upgrade to something like that. Uh -huh. But anyways, like I said, I was sitting in bed and thinking about the past and then I started thinking. Like now I know, I kind of know what a halfway house is and I was like, oh no, that wasn't Marcus. Oh, no. Red is not Marcus. Oh no. OMG, it was like so embarrassing. Is that the guy with the blue cream soda? No, 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 that was your homeboy. So. How many dudes you got me confused with? <laughs> you got one of those faces that look like everybody. I don't look, never mind. Uh -huh. <laughs> but what about my voice though? Yeah. Yeah, what? It's, it's a lot of dudes that have these no, voices. No, no. It's not too many dudes that look like me with my voice. Well, like I said, time had passed by, and I thought, you know, your voice had changed. And mm -hmm. anywho, I, this y'all, when it hit me, your own future husband. That just when it hit me, <laughs> it just I don't know. I felt bad because I had got you mixed with somebody else, mm -hmm. and oh, you owe me now. You got you guys. I have a horrible memory, so I forget things for. Yeah. A long time. Yes. And then I'll remember them later on in life. So, it, you know, I didn't know what your reaction was going to be. Are you mad? No, that that's a silly story. And the only reason why it's silly to me is because I know you and I know this really happened. <laughs> so, it's not that I'm mad. I wouldn't be mad at that. Because I'm with you now. And I've always loved you. Yeah, but only it makes me feel me, bad, though. It just, you, you know. Yeah, we dated briefly in high school, and we were friends and everything, but you should have been able to recognize me. I'm telling you, this guy looked exactly uh -huh. like you. I'm telling you, you hit me with that. Uh, trying to give me but yeah, book. please forgive me for getting you mixed up and arguing down about your green contacts. Give me, and, give me. You know, you forgive me. I forgive you. I don't know. That makes me feel bad. 
Because if the tables were turned you. and you had me confused with another female. Which I've never done. But I'm just saying, if you ever confuse me for another female and you argue me a down about. I've never confused you with anybody. But if you do. But I'm confused. We won't have the same situation happen. So you're trying to tell me I'm more forgiving than you. You are. Hmm. You are. Future you, conversations. Yeah. You are more forgiving at times. At times? All the time. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, no. Sir. Oh, oh, it's a whole little story, y'all. Yeah. But yeah, you guys, well, what do y'all feel about it? Like, silly. Do, does that make me a bad person, you guys, that I confused him for another man? Hold on. How long did y'all uh, date? Who? You and the red dude. I didn't date him. Because he never asked me to go back with him. Oh. Wait, you never. He never asked me out. You know, we would just always meet up at the train station. Mm -hmm. And uh, every time I'd be like, well, let's go hang somewhere or whatever. He, he always be like, he couldn't go. Yeah. He always had some excuse, so we never did date. And then, you know, when I saw him at the train station, I, I stopped speaking to him. I avoided him, and at the time, I was dealing with my stalker, so yeah. I was but, definitely. All right. After high school, mm -hmm. I went off to college. Mm -hmm. You were still Daddy. in high school. Mm -hmm. You contacted me yeah. while we were able to get in touch with each other through that time. I mean, you're going to fight. All right. But anyway, um... Yeah, you contacted me. We had each other's emails and you all. You talking that. about when we had emails? And you telling me you was out hanging with all them? All of what? I had friends. Yes, the, I had a social. Yeah, life. when I got in contact with the real one, yeah. This is how this went down. All right, I went oh, to college. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Well, that's a whole other conversation. Okay. Anyway. <sighs> but yeah, you guys, do, am I a bad person? You guys, like, what are y'all feelings about it? I still feel bad about it. You know, mixing him for somebody else. And it, you know, that was the first time it happened. There's, throughout our life, there's been times where I confuse him for other. So that the, it's not that I'm confusing him for other people. Your memories of other people are seeping into the memories of yeah. what we had together. So sometimes I remember stuff that I did with other people, but I be, in my mind, it was him. Even mm -hmm. though it wasn't him. Yeah. So I'm like, you remember when we were here? He's like, no, we we ain't never did that. And I was like, yeah, you remember? remember. He's like, no, we, we 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 never did. So sometimes I mix my memories together, y'all, because my memory is something crazy. Yes. But yeah, y'all give me y'all thoughts about the whole situation, and I'm glad you forgive me. I'm glad you're not mad at me. I thought you were gonna try to kill me or something. Okay. That would have been different See, if that's you why told I wanted me. to do it on camera so I approved oh, of okay. my death, you know what I mean? you would have been like, you know what, one night I thought this guy was you and now we got Chunky, then you need video evidence of... I needed video evidence in case you did anything. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you're having a blessed day. Bye-bye. Chunky, you want to say bye-bye? Yeah, she in her own little world.